I know a guy, his name is Manson. He's tall, he's dark, he's real, real handsome. He lingers a while and he talks to himself. He goes upstairs. He's got two bras. I... I thought that uh, from the first day that I met him that somebody should make an album about Wild Man Fisher. I've known him since 1965, and that was uh, just about the time we were doing our first album for MGM. I go down to the welfare department, I get the money, and everybody says you're a bum, Fisher, ha, ha, ha. But then I keep going, and my father's dead. Oh, my father's dead, but I got a chance. I got a chance because the reason why I got a chance I was in a mental institution when I was 16 years old. But when you're working with somebody like Wildman Fisher or Captain Beefheart or people who are out there, uh, the problems that arise after the album is completed uh, sometimes become too much to bear like I spent three months working on the Wild Man Fisher album and uh, at the end of that time not only was I accused of uh, robbing Wild Man Fisher and cheating Wild Man Fisher and abusing him most of this from Wild Man Fisher himself but uh, the album itself did not sell a large amount of copies you know I spent three months of my time working on it and I thought I'd done a good job on it and I, I was proud of the album when it was done but then it wind up with, uh, it hurts my feelings, you know, and I got a similar sort of experience from Captain Beefheart. You bring back those memories, oh my dear old Taggy Lee. 